Hello and welcome to episode 174 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam Laring and today we are looking at the absolute messages module because the normal messages just aren't good enough in Drupal. So we need to make them better and absolute messages is going to allow us to do that. Um, before we get into all of that fun stuff, of course we want to make sure that you check out CodeKarate.com. Um, be looking out for a new logo. That's big news. The new logo will be coming soon. Uh, make sure to check that out and give us your comments on that. We're uh, pretty proud of it, so hopefully you like it as well. Um, check out the ebook while you're there. Uh, ebook has been really successful for us. A lot of people have been finding a lot of value in it. Um, make sure to check that out. And um, you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all that fun stuff as well. Um, just stay involved. We're uh, constantly posting and we love uh, feedback, so thanks for that. All right, let's get down to the module. So today's module, as I mentioned, is Absolute Messages. Um, really, actually, simple module to install and get working, but um, provides a lot of you know, nice little add-ons for um, the person who doesn't really want to develop their own messages and design them and do all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of an all-in-the-box uh, option. Um, you can read, of course, and you can find out more about the Absolute Messages module on the Drupal website. Um, but a couple of the little things um, that we'll highlight here is the um, being able to show and hide uh, messages, being able to um, uh, see or bundle different messages together. And I'm going to show you a few of those things. Um, at the time of this filming, we are using uh, 7.13. So make sure that if you're using a different version, you double check and see if anything's changed. All right, let's jump into the module. So if we hop over to our site here. We just need to, well, actually, before we turn it on, let's note something. These, as you see here, are two different messages that are running um, currently on our site and pretty standard Drupal out of the box messages. Um, we got a status update and then a warning message here. So just note that that's what we're going to be changing. So that's just boring and isn't going to be good enough. So once we turn on the absolute messages module, let's save that. You start to see stuff right away. And there we go. So you see right here that now they've popped up. Um, we've pulled them outside of the content div and put them on the inside the page div, I believe. And you can see here that we now have, again, they're still showing same information but we can dismiss them if we want. Once we click that, they go away. Um, and then below here, you see there's a dismiss all X. So if I click that, all my messages go away. But then you see here that there's this little white um, half, I guess it'd be triangle, um, which allows us to bring our messages right back. So in case we actually said, oh, what did that say again? Um, we can bring that back. So we can close those out, show them, again, exit out of each of them, or we can bring them all back. So. Pretty fancy there. There is some configuration options that you can set. Um, so if we just go into the configuration for this module, I'm gonna kind of take you through these options here. So we have um, show display all messages when number of messages higher than um, zero. So basically that means um, if if we had, if you didn't want to see more than like two messages, um, you could set that to two, obviously, and then you could dismiss all of them at once. I set mine to zero because I want the option to be able to dismiss them all regardless. So that's where that little X comes and that triangle comes to bring them back. Uh, maximum number of messages per line. So sometimes you get uh, messages that are really long and they take up a good chunk of your page. Well, this is setting, if I set this to three, after it goes past three lines, there's going to be a message to display um, the full message. So or a button, excuse me. So once you click that, then it would expand the whole message. So it basically limits your view until you're ready to look at it. Um, you can fix the message bar to the top of the browser. That's basically just putting a position fixed on that. Um, I would, I, I'm not using that option because I have a fixed header up here with my um, admin menu. So the messages get cut off. So note that if you're using that type of thing, um, it won't work well, but you can obviously, um, if you're not use that and it'll pen to your top of your screen as you scroll. Um, also in Drupal, you'll notice, or you'll, of course, you'll notice that there's duplicate messages that basically say the same thing, or different error messages typically. Um, this um, group duplicate messages checkbox basically says we're going to look and make, if they're all the same, we're just going to display it once. So 
So you can show that option as well. And then the last couple sections here is automatically dismissing messages. So for example, after five seconds, my um, status messages will automatically go away on the screen. Um, you can also set those for warning and error messages as well. Um, typically, you know, warning and message, or error messages are more important, so I don't want to automatically dismiss them. I'll do it manually. And then under um, uh, advanced settings here, you can basically, actually, better read it too, this is new to me. Um, okay, basically it's a fallback for if they don't have um, JavaScript enabled, so you can check if they have JavaScript cookie enabled, and if they do, it'll show um, obviously the message we want. If they don't, it'll do a fallback to uh, the old way of displaying Drupal messages. So Anyway, so one other thing I'll show you here is the automatic dismissal. So after five seconds, our status message should go away. So if I hop over here to just a, a page, um, actually just close this, I got a page right here. So if I edit this page and then I save it, there's my status message that says it's been updated and after five seconds here, you see it went away. So then of course if I wanted to, I can bring it back by just clicking that or if I want to get rid of them, again, I can either cl click this message or scroll off and after five seconds it would display um, hide again. So anyway, that's the module. Um, again, the, it's the absolute messages module. Uh, like I said, pretty simple module, not necessarily a must have, but it's just a nice little feature to um, enhance your administration side of your um, website. Especially useful if you're having you know, content providers um, go onto your site and add stuff. Makes it just a little nicer for them. All right, guys, again, uh, make sure to head over to codekarate.com. Let us know what you think. Um, let us know modules you want us to review or different things you're getting trapped on. We always love to help you guys out in any way we can. All right, until uh, next video, take care.